documentary you're about to view is a culmination of four days and over five and a half hours of video taken in Galax, Virginia at the 76th annual Old Fiddlers Convention. This gathering is the oldest and largest bluegrass festival in the world and is promoted by the local Moose Lodge. It is held in the town of Galax located on the Crooked Road, better known to all here as Route 58. All along Route 58, one can appreciate the genesis of various forms of mountain music. The people that you will see in this video live and breathe this music. It's in their soul. And it is to this area that five Jewish boys from Tidewater and one Methodist minister made a pilgrimage to immerse themselves into the music and culture and also to celebrate the first Shabbat ever documented in Grayson County. Grayson County is along the Appalachian Trail and has a 31% unemployment rate and the median household income is a mere $22,000 per year. Some compete in such categories as auto harp, fiddle, mandolin, banjo, guitar, and dance. Most of the week is dedicated to adult competition. In the last few years, a youth competition was also added. The coveted top prize is $775 for the first place bluegrass band. Many attendees bring recreational vehicles loaded with heirloom family instruments that are played nightly at their home. This is uh, Brad Bangle. I'm sure a lot of the people in the community know Brad. This is Larry. Larry grew up with friends of ours, the Golden Boys, that most people would know about in this town. Larry is high up in the United Methodist Church. Uh, Dr. Daniel Isaacman. Uh, Dr. Nathan Golden. Uh, it's a Galax tradition. Uh, Dr. Norman Golden. The Galax is unbelievable. If you brought that into Shoal, then may kick you out. Thank you. That's in the program. That overlooks everything. Now on stage, Otto Hart will be contestant number two from Galax, Virginia. Pauline Bullock with amazing grace. Galax. This is where you get all your food. Fried Oreo right here. This is the ticket. Man, oh man. Look at that. Man. Don't see that every day. Dan, tell us about the electrical service here. Well, like everything in Galax, it's a simple situation. <laughs> you take what you can find, uh -huh. and you make it work. These are the contestants waiting to come into the stage. It was auto harp, and looks like it's now guitar. I think it's guitar. Is that what y'all are up for? Guitar? Hi, I'm Bob. Hi, I'm Bob. Nice to see you. Where are you from? Uh, where are you from? Up here in Galax. Here in Galax. Yo, this is my third time here, so that's all. Well, welcome to the Jews' part. Yeah. Well, well, thanks and good luck. Yeah. All right. Here in Galax, there are things that are called buckets. And buckets are little groups of people, they're usually from the same family, that come in and they travel together and they have sung together for years and they just come and hang out and people come into their buckets and uh, play with them and we'll just kind of sit on the sidelines and if they think they're good enough they will uh, play with the bucket. Galax, located in the Bible Belt of Virginia, is a religiously committed county. 83% of the population claims to be Baptist or Methodist. The Old Fiddlers Convention ends prior to sunrise on Sunday, since in these parts, Sunday is definitely the Lord's Day. It is probably safe to say that, until now, a Shabbat has never been observed in the hallows of the Appalachian Mountains. We travel to this area to have a full experience. Not only as music aficionados, but also as Jews. So on sunset, on Friday night, five Jewish boys from Hampton Roads gathered together to observe Shabbat. Candles were lit, kosher wine and challah were enjoyed. 
This was a deeply moving experience for all, and we vowed that this would be the first in what would surely become a yearly tradition. So what is it that brings you here? What is it that, that gets you coming here? Wow, that's a very good question. <laughs> Just sitting so many people, I made so many friends is here. It, is it energizing when you walk into one of those buckets and find a couple great musicians to uh, jam with? It really is. And we always reminisce about how great it was back years ago. We used to do all these great jams and be so many people. Right. I grew up in Brooklyn, New York. Believe it or not. Okay. You can tell that. Uh, yeah. so my, my parents used to drive me down here when I was a kid. Wow. I've been playing about 40 years I've, wow. since I was 11. I'm, I'm 50 now. Ever, ever played Cosmer? I've tried a little bit. I like that style. Right. I've, I've messed around with some people in Greensboro. There's some Klezmer musicians. That, that is ingenuity. That is ingenuity. They talk about Yankee ingenuity. This is Southern. Absolutely. There you go. My man. <laughs> My man. So where, you, where are you living now? Knoxville. It just seems like you're always with the really good group. You know? that, <laughs> yeah. that can't be a coincidence. Yeah, you know? I mean, I guess that's just the ones that I gravitate towards. Yeah. You know, the uh -huh. fellas that, that know the old recordings that I like and that I listen to and that will do it right yeah. are the ones that I like to play with. Right. <laughs> are they, uh, what what are, the, are your favorite festivals do you end up uh, This one's my favorite. Really? By far, yeah. yeah. Are you a full-time student? Yeah. yeah. Oh, great. Where do where you go to school? UT. Uh, is it Tennessee? Yeah, oh, University awesome. of Tennessee. Awesome. awesome. Yeah. What are you studying up there? I'll be a veterinarian. Wow. Really? Yeah. So yeah. I got six more years. Uh-huh. Uh, yeah. There's not really... That's his wife, mine, and my other We just, we just get together and pick something. Mm -hmm. Did you go to other festivals? Or? Have a blessed one. Right, we'll too. see you here next year with a DVD of it. All right. Sounds good.